the shadows were perfect. I took my moped, I always love riding this moped here. It's, it's a French moped from the 70s. I guess what I took from French with me, with my spice ball. And uh, I ride to the heliport and I just got strapped on outside the helicopter. And in a couple of minutes, here yeah, I was. And I remember I started seeing the face appearing between buildings and then his legs and then I was like above it. And I was like, whoa, that was literally the first time I discovered a pasty. And I had to be perfectly vertical so I could grab it. And, um, and when I was perfectly above, you know, with the wind we had to redo it a few times, then I keep shooting. I guess for me the most important point in this piece is really that all those immigrants that came here, like I came here, are in the shadows of the city. And that day, People were walking on it, not even noticing it, but today on the cover of the New York Times, everybody's in the shadow except Elma, who's in the light. It's Saturday Night Live! Uh, hey, Larry David! Hey! hey. hey. How you doing? Hey. 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 I can't believe it! Fantastic! Hey. What's going on? Something. Yeah. Was I really a writer on, on Saturday Night Live? Yes, Larry, you were. You wrote here for one season. Huh. And uh, look how big we are even after that. Yeah, how about right? that? I know. We had like the biggest show of all time. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, you know, you can never do that now. No. The media landscape, no. such as it is. Possible. <laughs> it, it, it's like we had the last two tickets before Disneyland burned down. to play football quickly because there are so many kids waiting to play. Especially now, unlike home here in Zatari, girls can play football too. That makes us happy. for several hours now. We started out in Washington Square Park, then headed uptown, then back down to one police plaza, the headquarters of the NYPD, and now uptown again. This is something that we've seen happen a lot over the last few weeks. Uh, people are really angry over two very high profile non-indictments, and they've, they've really been building off this momentum. Every time we come out and cover a protest, there are more people out here. Protesters have started to disperse, but as they did that, some of them have been lying down here on the street, blocking traffic. And as you can see, laying down in the street, this is a die-in, as they call it. This is something we've seen a lot over the last few weeks. Protesters lay down in the middle of the street in tribute to the victims of police violence here in New York and all across the country. I'll try to guide you through it.
My name is Lance Teasling. I'm in middle school in Eagle Grove, Iowa. Eagle Grove is not a very tall place. It's actually very flat. This is the tallest building on Main Street. It is about 50 feet tall. When I grew up, I want to be an architect and design skyscrapers. Yesterday at school, we went on a class trip. But this was not a normal trip with buses. This was something very different. The very first expedition we went on was to the Burj Khalifa. Go ahead and grab two hands and put them up to your face. It's so tall. OK, we're going to go to the 153rd floor. Welcome to an Oculus Rift DK2 game called Vanguard. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, that's just cool. 